All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, and we really do have to talk. What a day today was, all kinds of things coming from here and coming from there and coming out of certain individuals' pie holes. Uh, <laughs> epic. All right, so, uh, yeah, post-market wrap-up on this Thursday, July 2nd, 2020, this will be my last uh, market report for the week. Why? Because markets are closed tomorrow, so I get a day off. I get a day off. I will miss all of you. That's the truth. But, you know, you need a little downtime from from uh, time to time as well. All right, so let, let, let's talk here. Stocks finished higher, although well off of the highs for the day. The NASDAQ closed at yet a new all-time record high. Now, let's, let's again go on a little bit here. So... <laughs> Stocks vaulted higher right out of the gate, like a 400-point gain for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, apparently, we got some good news with regard to uh, jobs report, but it was revealed today that, that the Bureau of Labor Statistics has made a specific error uh, in calculating these numbers for the last three months. Don't take my word for it. Look it up for yourself. Um, here's my take on that. A repeated error. Three times in a row that make these numbers look better than they actually are. Do you think that's an error or do you think it's deliberate? Meanwhile, we heard from the President of the United States today and Larry Kudlow, who both Praise these numbers. It's fantastic. But neither one of these two very nice people didn't, they didn't bring up the fact that these numbers are not right. Uh, they've been reported in error. Do you think, honestly, I want you to sit back. Take a deep breath with me. Ready? Let's put our thinking caps on. Turn it on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, do you believe that both the president and Larry Kudlow, who I think would benefit from a lobotomy, do you think that they left this little piece of information out mm, deliberately? Because that would be a lie by omission, wouldn't it? But again, what else can you expect? Um, from any politician or any creature um, that has melted his brain. Uh, and I'm referring to Larry Kudlow. And I really do believe this. He would benefit from a lobotomy. All right, but um, all, all that aside here. So again, as soon as the markets you know, ripped higher today, the president did his usual thing. Uh, he got out in front of the camera, took you know, as, as much credit as he could for the NASDAQ hitting an all-time record high, took as much credit as he possibly could for this great jobs number, which is fake. It's 100% not true. And, um, you know, someone on Twitter, on my Twitter feed, posted a little poll. The poll was, will President Trump's speech boost the market or send the market lower? I voted lower. Uh, and that's exactly what happened because after the president finished lying, because that's what he was doing, he, he didn't lie about the NASDAQ, obviously hitting a new record high, but we know what's driving it. Lies are driving the market. Um, but again, he can't tell you about the error in the reporting of the number. It's fake. Um, so anyway, uh, that was it. Markets could not recover. He couldn't go higher. If the president would have kept his mouth shut, which he cannot do, it's an impossibility for this man. He must take credit. <laughs> you know, uh, if he would have kept his mouth shut, stocks probably would have ended at the high of the day or even higher. But he can't do it. It's impossible. It's not in his nature. We all know that. And I'm not just putting down the president here. I'm just pointing out things that are facts. You want to argue the facts with me? Let's do it. Okay. Um, tell me when this has not happened. 
It's a repetitive thing over and over and over and over again. Uh, anyway, uh, so what ended up happening is stocks ended near the lows of the day. Now, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I think I posted it on Facebook. I said I wanted this market to end actually lower today. I did not get my wish. Markets did put on gains. However, the market did finish. I mean, we, we I think the Dow closed up 95 after being up over 400. Um, so, so anyway, I guess I could, I'm not thrilled. Why, why would I want to see the market end lower today? Am I short the market? No, I do not have one short position right now. Because I believe we have a three-day weekend here, okay? Over this weekend, watch for the sunshine to be blown right up the crack of this market because of the this 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 vaccine that they're talking about like it's the prophesied return of the Messiah or something along those lines all day long. Virus is surging. Virus is surging. It's freaking surging. You can't get away from it. It's everywhere. And again, this virus, nar this, this vaccine narrative, it's just, it's numbing my freaking brain, okay? Um, and, and that's another thing we found out today that was not reported on the uh, Pfizer with this, this miracle vaccine. We found out that there were some pretty serious side effects so far with their trial. But how come they didn't talk about that? Why did they just mention how... The, the first reports are promising. Oh, I wonder why that is. Uh -huh. Another another thing that you're not supposed to know because they think you're a uh, not capable of, of understanding truth. Let me explain this to you real quick. Truth is the enemy of every single oppressive regime or or those also individuals who would rather stay in their little boxes in the dark and believe the lies. That's the truth. Uh, and it, it really does harm people when you try to show them the truth or show them some light. They don't want it. And they will turn against you. You know, let, let me ask you this too while we're on the topic. And I, I, I posted this earlier. If you look back at every single, every single, without ex exception, oppressive regime since the beginning of time, what do they seek to oppress? It's very simple. Free thought, free action, free movement. Um, th these things just cannot be tolerated by any oppressive regime. They seek to play on people's minds by not allowing them to think, not allowing them to actually be free. And that is a terrible thing to see. They also seek to destroy any organization or a person that tries to do good for others uh, can't happen. It will not be tolerated. And if you look at like any specific dogma, uh, they're very regimented. And this steals away, again, what? Free thought, free action, free movement from governments to uh, oppressive religions. I mean, you want to go on and on about this. This is a, a mechanism that has been in place since forever. And people buy right into it because they have no choice there. They're just brainwashed zombies who are just, I don't know what their issue is. But again, that's the, the main theme here against every oppressive, not just regime, again, uh, method of control. Uh, they seek to take away your ability to be free, to think freely, to move freely, to act freely. You can't do it. You're not allowed to think on your own. If you try to, that's it. You know, you become public enemy number one. I, I think this is pretty obvious. All right, anyway. So let's talk about a few other assets here, my lovely friends. Cryptos got hit today. Gold and silver put on fractional gains. Uh... Dollar, I mean, ever so fractionally stronger. Ten-year yields not looking too good, but we know what's going on. We know what's going on. They're propping up crude oil. The Wall Street banks, the investment banks, are buying the market. Okay, I talked to a couple of friends of mine today, uh, who again work at. Here's the hint. Okay, I'm going to give you a hint because I'm trying to, you know, just keep this between you and I. <laughs> the biggest, the two largest investment banks on Wall Street. 
All right, little inside information again, just like I told you on Sunday, last Sunday, they're buying stocks. The hedge funds are buying stocks. Understand what's going on here. You got the major Wall Street banks and the major hedge funds, hedge funds with a direct main line to the Federal Reserve. They have unlimited capital, unlimited capital to do whatever they want with it. And they're buying the market here. They're buying the market. Uh, until they're not. But that's what they're doing now. I think it should not only be obvious to you, but I'm telling you it's happening and it's proving to be true. You know, let's talk about that too. You got a lot of YouTube blogs out here who have been steering all of you in the wrong way for months, telling you this market's going to crash, this market's going to melt down, crude oil is going down to zero again. And I've been saying the polar opposite for months. They've all been wrong. All of them, okay? I've been right. And I'm very proud to say that because I promised all of you, my lions, my lionesses, my cubs out here, I posted this earlier, I will never let you down. Never let you down. It ain't happening on my watch. You know that. Anyway, with regard to all this, I think I put a nice perspective on what's going on here for you. Now, today is like a Friday because the markets are closed tomorrow. So you will not see me until Sunday. I will miss you. I will do a market to look at on Sunday. And I will, we'll try to put some of this together here. But look for the obvious. What they're going to do here is they're going to, again, this, this vaccine narrative, it's going to hit greater heights because they're really trying to sell this to you on a grand scale. Um, and the fear behind it, they you can see what they're doing. They're trying to fear people into wanting to accept this vaccine. Um, and look, if you're if you're an educated adult and you feel like this is the right thing for you, I'm all for it. But again, do your research, understand what's going on here, talk to people about it. I don't think, and this is just my opinion, that a warp speed vaccine. Uh, that was one of the, the, term, the terms the president used several times. He also said it, one is coming sooner than you think. I don't, to me, okay, uh, and I did practice medicine for 20 years. I don't think something like this that's injected into your body should be rushed. You know, you could look back on the history of medicine and look at drugs that were rushed out like thalidomide, for example. Uh, that's just one that pops into my head. But there have been many drugs that have been rushed onto the market with devastating consequences for, for people. And, and again, it's all about money. So something else is going on here. The, the, the virus, the, the narrative all day from the news, it's surging, it's surging. And at the same time, like I said earlier, they are, they're talking about this vaccine as, as if it's the second coming. I mean, this is, does, it, does it sound right to me, okay? If it doesn't make sense to you, if you, something's going off in your brain, you should listen to it, okay? Your intuition here, uh, to me, it's a God-given gift. If you're getting an alarm, you should listen to that alarm. All right, look, like I said, this is Thursday. It's the end of the week. No trading tomorrow. So I'm going to leave you off like I do every Friday. People, let's do this together, okay? I know there are tens of thousands of you that follow my blog. So let's all do it together. And I'm going to count it down. One, two, three. Love each other. Care about each other. And be charitable. All right? That's it. Love you. Please share the video. See you Sunday.